In this video, we're taking a look at 25 different tips and tricks using Morfolio Trace. These tips will cover anything from the basics to the more advanced tips. So even if you are a veteran user of the app, I'm pretty sure you'll get some value out of this video. Now, before we jump into today's video, if you're new to the channel, my name is Carter, and here we talk about landscape architecture, education, visualization, and representation. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. Okay, let's start off with some app settings. If you're new to the app or noticing that your palm can sometimes interrupt the drawing or another finger starts to draw for you, then make sure you head over to the app settings and turn on the pencil only mode. This will disable your fingers and your palm from being detected in Morfolio Trace. And while you're here, if you wanna be able to pan and move around your drawing a little bit easier, then be sure to turn on the one finger pan setting to make this a whole bunch easier for you. And to take that one step further, if you're worried about rotating or changing the view during your drawing or your panning, then make sure you turn on the zoom rotation lock setting so that you never have to worry about that again. Now the last tip for the app settings is to turn on the Trace Custom Double Tap option. This will let you change brushes or other interface options with double dapping the screen or your Apple Pencil. Now let's move on to talk about some of the advanced hand gestures you can do using this app. You can do a one finger double tap to rotate your rulers and triangles, and you can return your protractor to a perfect circle with a double tap. Next, you can do a two finger tap to undo the last action that you made in the interface. And if you wanna redo that action or you didn't wanna actually undo what you did, use the three finger tap to redo this action that you just made. Now, if you don't have the one finger pan enabled in your drawing settings, you can use a three finger drag to move around your image and canvas on the page. And lastly, a four finger tap will hide that toolbar for you or bring it back after it's hidden. This is great to kind of declutter and look at your image as a whole. Now, moving on to layer controls, you can move and organize your layers by tapping and holding on that layer and dragging up and down to organize them chronologically or how you would like them to be. You can also tap on that specific layer and it will automatically zoom to the extent of that canvas page that you have. And if you wanna make that layer you selected active, just double tap it and there will be a little yellow bar saying that it's activated. This will be super helpful when you have a ton of layers and you just wanna draw on a specific layer because Morfolio will auto default to the highest layer to draw on. Lastly, if you wanna delete a layer, then swipe left on the little image box. Now make sure you really wanna go through this action because you cannot undo this, um, and that goes for clearing your layer as well. You can't undo those in Morfolio. Now moving on to the color palettes, in addition to having the presets that Morfolio Trace has provided for us, you can make your own color palette by using the eyedropper tool, other colors from other palettes, or creating your own through the hex color system. And of course, you're not limited to one palette alone, so you're able to make a whole bunch of different palettes depending on the style or type of drawing you're going for. Next, we can use the Smart Fill tool to calculate areas and multiple areas of parts of our drawing. And you can either copy and paste into an Excel file directly from Morfolio, or you can use the new drag and drop system to do that as well. Pretty cool, huh? Next, you can use the magic lasso tool to quickly copy images, text, or rotate and move objects of your choice. Portfolio can auto detect what is relevant from you from the drawing, or you can do it directly by selecting the specific layer, and then you're able to freeform move it and duplicate it really, really fast and really effectively. Next, you can use Morfolio's perspective tool to choose from a one, two, or a three point perspective. So by holding and dragging the plus sign symbols, you can customize where you want your perspective lines and vanishing points to go towards. And you can also press and hold between the points on your perspectives to change where the horizon line is in your drawing. Now moving on to the super ruler, there are a few tips that go along with this one. As you know, we can rotate the ruler by either tapping on the screen twice or on the pen twice, and we'll rotate 90, 90, 90 with that, or as well with the triangles too. And remember, this won't work if you don't have the hand gestures enabled. Next, if you're trying to get an angle that's less than three degrees, you're gonna need to rotate that ruler three times back and forth and it will unlock that little special threshold. And for my favorite tip, if you wanna make angles freeform without having to move the ruler all the time, then make sure you have tap toggle on 
so that way you can do that really, really easily without having to move it. Moving on from the ruler, let's talk about the stencils. Now, much like the custom color palettes, we're able to create our own custom stencils that are separate to the predetermined and preset packages that Morfolio Trace sets up for us. You can do this from your own drawings, your files, images, or PDFs. When you set this up, it's gonna let you create your own scale and it's gonna let you control the overall look and depth and thickness to that stencil for you. So will allow you to create your very own custom library that will have your own unique feel to the app. Moving on from there, if you ever want to add a map underlay to a drawing or sketch over a map, Morfolio Trace already has a built-in feature for that for you. So you're easily able to access any location on the map and when you import that into the drawing, it's already gonna be at the scale that it's viewed at, which is super helpful. So don't waste your time trying to bring in other maps, just do it directly from Morfolio Trace. It's gonna be super fast, super simple. And the last but not least tip is in project management. If you didn't know already, Morfolio Trace allows you to create custom folders to move all of your projects into different locations and create a whole bunch of different subsets just in Morfolio Trace alone. So you can organize them by holding and dragging anywhere on the screen and drop them in or place them in however order you may want it to be in. All right, so those are 25 tips and tricks using Morfolio Trace. So I hope you all learned something from this video today. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a like and let me know in the comments below on what tip was your favorite from this video. And also let me know what types of content you would like to see me cover in the future. I'd love to hear from you guys and continue the conversation in the comments below. But that's all for me today. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more of this type of content and I'll see you next time. Peace.